YTPC Padre coming to you via the virtual airwaves of YouTube and a little bit of a different uh, video today uh, I was blessed to be able to take delivery on the Vespa the GTS 300 Touring Edition and uh, picked it up and drove it home and thought I'd share that video uh, vlog with you and this is just the pickup and the ride home. Hope you enjoy it. All right. All right, I'm heading. I'm going to take... Uh... How am I going to do that? I think I'm going to uh, do a hairpin and get on St. Charles and go home that way. I don't want to get on the interstate. Look what I lost. Almost lost my collar. Now I'm out of here. Oh, no. oh. Bad. All right, so now we're in five o'clock traffic, of course. Gotta love that. buddy who dropped me off. You, you call for an Uber?
Simon Bolivar. It's a beautiful neighborhood. I think we'll cut over. Or do we? We're gonna go through the hood. Holy crap, New Orleans needs to fix their streets. That's all I'm gonna say. No! Oh my gosh, potholes. You could swallow a frickin' SUV in them. Oh. There's the infamous blue bikes over there. GPS hooked up at the moment, so I'm kind of doing this uh, on my own memory of these back streets of the city as I'm looking for St. Charles Avenue. Oh my gosh, these roads suck. Oh. Uh, and I think St. Charles is going to be our next light, and that'll uh, that'll get us. Heading toward the suburbs, get on River Road, and take it in from there. All right. The good news is that's St. Charles Avenue. And the good news there is they've been working on it and making the roads a little nicer than this crap that we've just been on. Hopefully it won't be quite as bumpy. And there's a Vespa off to the right. And coming up here on my right, not a Vespa. But a puppy dog riding. That's kind of cool. In the arms of the and coming up on our right is the Cathedral, Christ Church Cathedral, beautiful church in the Anglican tradition. Lots of old, historic, and beautiful churches up and down St. Charles Avenue in New Orleans. Of course, to my left is what everyone uh, in the rest of the world might call a median. We hear New Orleans call a neutral ground. And on that neutral ground, we'll also have, uh, we'll see, uh, streetcars, not trolleys. Trolleys are in San Francisco. These are streetcars, and um, they actually uh, hook up to the wires atop, and uh, that's how they get their power. The good team don't come in and say could have. They get it done, all right? It's that simple. I'm tired of saying could have, should have, would have. That's why we ain't good enough yet. Because we're saying could have, and they ain't. That dude, I don't know what he's doing. Looking for Waldo? Or Pokemon? Oh, man, nothing like a New Orleans red light, huh? Come on. There we go.
it's nice to be in the shade of these huge old oak trees on St. Charles on this summer evening, I'll tell you that. St. George's Episcopal Church off to our left that we just passed there. Beautiful home on the right. Beautiful homes up and down St. Charles Avenue. don't know all the exact houses, but there's some famous folks that reside in some of these houses. Uh, the Bensons, Mr. Benson, who recently passed away, the owner of the New Orleans Saints and New Orleans Pelicans, has a house out here. And um, Drew Brees actually has a house right off of St. Charles on one of the private streets. Barbara Streisand, I think that might have been her house we just passed. Barbara Streisand has a house out here. Brad Pitt has got a house out here. Lots of uh, lots of folks who have a little bit of the narrow. And at least part of the year want to call New Orleans their home, have some homes in this area here on St. Charles Avenue. And there's a streetcar right on time. And another red light. And that's the Jewish Community Center right over there. And now we're getting to a stretch of St. Charles where the road has not been redone. And you can see how bumpy it is. Well, it's been redone, but it's patchwork. Bits, pieces here and there. It makes for a bumpy ride on two wheels. It makes for a bumpy ride on four wheels. Uh, let's not kid ourselves. It's just uh, something you gotta pay a little bit more attention to when you're on two wheels. On four wheels, you may end up having to get a front end alignment. On two wheels, you may end up landing in front of your front end. That would not be good. And to our right, we're coming into the universities. That's gonna be Loyola University on our right, followed by uh, the St. Charles side of uh, Tulane University. And to the left on St. Charles, we're seeing Audubon Park. And on the back side, if we go all the way over through, if we were to cut through to the left, we would see, uh, we'd pass Magazine Street and we'd come into Audubon Zoo before we hit the Mississippi River. To, Huge piece of land, beautiful piece of property, very well cared for. You have to do a little motor vlogging from there at some point. We're passing Loyola's uh, on campus chapel right there on the right. That's uh, Holy Name of Jesus. Beautiful church, beautiful sanctuary. They call it a chapel, but it's larger than. Uh, most churches, to tell you the truth. I don't know what that noise is that I'm hearing. It's a weird sound. I may have to pull over. Because I don't know what that is. Got a weird noise just kicked on. I'm gonna turn it off, turn it back on. See what that is. Don't know what that was. Don't know what that noise was at all. Let's restart it and see. Must be the fan. Must be a fan that kicked on. 
I guess it's supposed to make that noise. Give a phone call. I'm going to assume that noise is supposed to be there. It's a fan blowing through the vent. So I guess it just finally hit a temperature where it needed to kick on. All right. So I'm hopping back in traffic. All right. All right. Thanks. Bye. You know, as we're getting to a point where um, the sun is starting to set a little lower now in the sky and a little bit of a cloud cover setting in with these uh, nice, beautiful oaks, it's actually comfortable when we're at a moving speed. You get a little breeze and so much so that that fan just kicked off. So I guess that's what that is. I think the Italians engineered this quite well. It was getting a little warm. And now we've gotten a little cool as we're moving a little more. And that fan has kicked off, uh, or at least slowed some. It's not in its high gear like it was where we're hearing it. And I think that's all it was. I'll have to look that up when we get home. I think we're good. Uh, we're going to be coming to the end of St. Charles Avenue. And what that's going to do... It, and then that fan just kicked back on. That's going to bring us to uh, River Road. And we're going to get on River Road, take that into the suburbs. We're going to be traveling the, the Mississippi right now. The Mississippi River is to our left. And the Mississippi is also straight ahead, immediately in front of us. That's because of the bend in the river, which is why uh, New Orleans is known as the Crescent City because of that bend. It, it's a crescent shape to it. So the river's to our due left. The river is also directly in front of us, and we're going to be getting on River Road in about another, I don't know, maybe probably not a mile, three quarters of a mile. So the question becomes, while riding around on a Vespa in the city of New Orleans and uh, recording on a GoPro, does it seem weird to be talking to yourself? Actually, it did at first. It does it now. Hiring some sort of food. We're going to go ahead and take it. All right. That's a good thing. This thing has got some nice pickup. That was just probably an eighth of a twist of the throttle that got me through there. I'm not sure I would have done that in my SUV, to tell you the truth. And there's that dag blasted fan kicking back on again. And I guess as we get moving again, in traffic on River Road, which is where we're headed. We're going to be taking a right on a river road now. It'll get some air moving through it. And it is likely to kick back off again. And uh, so I got my buddy Jay. His two cars in front of me, not that front car, but the one right in front of that. He got in front of me when I pulled off on St. Charles when I first heard that weird noise. Alright. Let's get over the train tracks. And 
let's cross into Jefferson Parish, out of Orleans Parish. As we come into Jefferson Parish, we're in the city of Old Jefferson. From Old Jefferson, we'll go into Metairie, which is my home town. Close that visor back. I don't know what the speed limit is on River Road, but since I was just approaching 50, I'm pretty sure I need to back down because I don't think it's any higher than 40, maybe 45, could even be 35, I'm not sure. Probably need to pay greater attention to that. It's almost, uh, you know, you get used to what it feels like to go a certain speed in your car when you're on two wheels and you're enjoying the breeze. And it can be a little bit deceptive. Now, I don't know what my buddy Jay did. I'm going to take a route that I know, turning here on Barry, so I can avoid that big hospital up ahead and just shoot on over. Jefferson Highway, and uh, that will give me the option of either taking Causeway to West Metairie, or I could take Jefferson all the way up to Central, and Central becomes Homa Boulevard, so I've got all kinds of options to get myself. I don't know how he did this, but he's behind me. At least I think that's him behind me. He must have pulled over. thought he was in front of me. Well, he was in front of me. Uh, somehow or another, he got behind me. I don't think he trusts me on this thing. <laughs> All right, let's use our turning indicator. Let's get ourselves on Jefferson Highway. We got three lanes to choose. We got a crowload of traffic coming our way in this S turn, though, and uh. I really don't want to get run over by a school bus, so we're going to at least wait for that. Let's see. It looks like we got some clearance. We got clearance, Clarence. Roger, huh? And don't call me Shirley. Oh, man. Diesel fumes. I've got to get away from this bus. Oh, goodness gracious. That That is one of the drawbacks of being you know, in the open, the diesel fumes, getting behind a school bus. All right, so we're on the front side of that hospital. I told you I wanted to avoid on River Road just because there's a lot of traffic this time of the day when people leave and work and such. And um, This gives us three lanes to alleviate that traffic as opposed to River Road, which is a lovely little route, but with that one lane, it can get congested in the evening time. If I can get in front of this school bus, I will be feeling good. I'll jump back over in that right lane uh, but I just don't want to be right behind him like that Tacoma is. If I were in that spot, good Lord, the fumes I would be breathing. That's a CVS up there. For what it's worth, i got my blinker on. I'll shut that off. For what it's worth, this is a long time ago, but prior to Hurricane Katrina, that was a Taco Bell. <laughs> this is a strange thing you remember. That Taco Bell never did make it back after the hurricane. It sat as a vacant area, and sooner or later, CVS, you know, CVS is on every corner, usually across the street from them is Walgreens, Catacorner. Poor Rite Aid. Rite Aid's about to ain't there, be there no more. Ain't there no more. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, now if we can just squeeze in front of this school bus. We can't lane split in Louisiana. Why does my blinker keep coming on? Cancel out.
want to get in front of that bus. I don't want to be breathing his fumes. Of course, I don't want to get right in front of him where he can, like, squash me. I'm going to take it. All right. And get ourselves on Causeway Boulevard now. And I have no idea what the uh, placement of this camera is like right now, or has been on this entire trip. It could be totally unusable footage. I really have no idea of the quality of this audio. You could hear me breathing and then my lips running into the microphone. I've, I've got to get the setup a little better. I probably need to take it down a notch too. I was just at 50 miles an hour. I know Causeway is a little slower than that. I'm just keeping up with traffic though. That's my excuse if I get pulled over. We're going to be taking our turn up here to the left onto West Metairie from Causeway Boulevard. That's going to put us almost home. Almost home. This guy's going to try a lane split and an escape. <laughs> He's from Texas, though. So, all right, it's a green light. We can all go. Come on, folks. All righty. Yes, we are dangerously close to being home now. Now, my buddy, Dr. J, who was kind enough to bring me to pick this thing up and has escorted me home, he's riding behind me now. He lives up here off West Metairie on Belmont. And so what I think I'm gonna do is lead him home. Uh, and I'm only up mile or so away from his house, to tell you the truth. So. One of these streets is his. That's North Turnbull. That's not it. Belmont. Belmont came up on me kind of quick. If I remember correctly, he's got a cop. The Popo lives right there in his block, so I probably want to make sure I'm doing the speed limit. I don't have a brake tag, what we call a brake tag down here in Louisiana, although people call it an inspection sticker. I don't have it. You know, and I don't think there's a catch-22. I'm assuming I've got some time. I mean, I just drove this thing off the lot, so... Did I just pass his house? No. What's his address? He's behind me, so... He's something 08. 14, 15, 08? Is he 15, 08? That's going to be him up here. He's still behind me. He didn't pull into a driveway, so. 16, 12, now that's done him. Where the heck? His house looks a lot like that. That's the problem. All these houses look alike. Some architect was very uncreative.
There he is. That's his house. No, that's not his house. That's the trick house, isn't it? Is that the trick house? That's the trick house. The one that looks just like his, that's not his. Oh, maybe that was his house. Because he pulled off. Mm -hmm. Turn this puppy around and go see. Never remember. You got the, the, the several of these houses look exactly the same. I'll be right. It was good, except for uh, I, I took that little detour um, to get to St. Charles. Yeah. Martin Luther King and whatever that other. Yeah, I'm <laughs> rough and rough well, yeah, rough neighborhood too. Yeah. yeah. I, I tried to do it as quickly as I could. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a fan. Okay. that kicked on and it does it when I sit still for a little bit and it goes and it blows out over here and I guess it's doing what it's supposed to do but when it first came on that's when I pulled over I'm like that is a weird sound and then when I started moving again it kicked itself off yeah. so it hadn't been on in a while until we got to that causeway red light and then we sat there for a few minutes and it came on and once you start moving again about 10 seconds after I guess it gets air circulating through it and it shuts itself off so the way the yeah the AC is uh, definitely in need of some Freon so well good deal I appreciate your help man thank you yeah 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 this was uh, the uh, crash bars I had put on extra and I'm probably going to end up getting uh, the front fender crash bars, too. It keeps it safer. If you do drop it or bump it, you hear it? Yeah. Where are you going to keep that? Uh, I got an empty shed. There's nothing in the shed. The shed is totally empty, yeah. Yeah, now I got a cover for it and all. Yeah. So. But even the leather seat is now covered under the... Uh, with that uh, that coating they put, there's a coating they put on a leather seat too that puts it under warranty. So yeah, lifetime, sweet. All right, let me get on home. Yep, yeah, catch you later. Thanks again. Cool, thanks. Yeah. All righty. Might be one of those days where you just have to skip dinner and ride. You know what I mean? Would that be wrong? I don't think so. I don't think so. This is what you gotta do. Oh man, that breeze feels nice and that fan just kicked off. Oh, in the shade. It feels so good. Hello, Mr. Truck. Glad you saw me. I tell you. subdivision.
I'm just amazed at how quickly uh, the, the pickup on this thing. Oh, you know, this is a 20 mile an hour street, and I, I took that turn, and the next thing I knew, I was uh, above 30 miles an hour, and it just, you just don't. You don't even know it. It's sweet. But you gotta be careful, because you don't want to get a speeding ticket, or worse, no! on a vehicle like this. So this is the speed limit, 20 miles an hour, and it just feels like, you know, it's so much more enjoyable to go just a little faster. But you know, that's how motorcyclists get in trouble. That is exactly how two-wheelers get themselves in bad situations. And one more stop sign to go. And we're home.